Hey, what's up guys? It's Online Money 24 seven and today we're gonna be talking about how to use to check out to process payments on your Shopify store. So this is more or less a follow up video to another video I actually made about a month ago uh, going over understanding uh, payment gateways and I got a lot of different questions on that video so I figured I would do a follow up. If you haven't seen that video already, I will link that up in a card so you can go ahead and watch that video first uh, so you can understand what I'm talking about with to check out and understanding payment gateways as a whole. You wanna watch that video first so you get a good overall idea of exactly what I'm explaining. So now getting into the specifics of to check out, we're gonna be hopping onto their website in a second here. I'm gonna be taking you through uh, exactly how to use to check out and the overall benefits and cons to to check out for someone who is not in the United States who can't use Shopify payments, but has to utilize another payment gateway to be able to accept credit cards, debit cards on their Shopify stores. So without further ado guys, in a second here, I'm gonna hop over to to check out in three, two, one, boom. All right, so first off, I wanted to show you on the Shopify website here, these are the different countries that Shopify payments accepts. As you can see here, it is available only to stores in the United States, Puerto Rico, Canada, the United Kingdom, Ireland, Australia, New Zealand, and Singapore, and is not available to US territories except Puerto Rico. So if you are not in one of these countries, you can't use Shopify payments. Uh, which kind of sucks for a lot of people who are in other parts of the world. So what is the solution? Well, one of the most popular other payment gateways that you can utilize is to check out. So we're going to be going through exactly the different aspects of to check out going into detail here. Uh, so this is their website. Okay. The to check out website, as you can see, you can accept online payments, right? They're solving that, that problem for you, for people around the world who can't utilize Shopify payments. And really th this doesn't, this doesn't just apply to Shopify, but for any kind of online store you're starting, um, this is, this is the solution then because they have a lot of global, um, acceptance for doing online payments. Okay. So if we take a look here at the features, um, of to check out. So as you can see, they have a global reach and hosted checkout. They have the API payment for you. Um, so they have everything set up and their rates. So now their rates is something that is very important for a lot of you guys because, you know, how much are you going to be paying them for each transaction that happens? OK, so let's say if you were to set up to check out for if you're in the United States, right? So your uh, successful transaction charge that you would then get per transaction uh, that you would pay to them because they're they're your payment gateway is 2.9 percent plus 30 cents. So that's how much you would pay to check out for every single successful transaction on your website, on your Shopify store. So if you are doing Shopify payments, I think it is pretty much the same rate. So obviously there's no reason to do to check out if you're in the United States. This is only for people that are outside the United States or any of the other countries that I had mentioned on this list here that Shopify payments uh, is not available to. So say for example, you're in another country, right? Say for example, you are in, um, let's, let's say uh, Thailand, okay? your transaction rate is going to be higher. So it's 3.9% plus 45 cents. It's a little bit different. Uh, say, for example, you're in Switzerland, okay? It's going to be 2.4% plus 30 cents. So as you can see, the rate varies depending on what country you're in. Say, for example, you're in Mexico, 3.9% plus 45 cents. Say, for example, you're in Morocco, okay? A little bit different. So every single country here, as you can see, they offer it for a lot of different countries, which is awesome, but you know, it's, it's a little bit different rates per every single country. So obviously, like it says, pricing may vary depending on your industry and business model. Um, that's also something I'll get into more in later parts of this video. Uh, but this is the base price that they will charge you for handling transactions on your site. So obviously it depends on what country you're in out of this list, but they do accept pretty much, I think it's over 200 different countries. So you should be able to start your Shopify stores and accept payments with to checkout. Now going into some of the other details of to checkout, um, some of the other features, if you want to take a look at how their actual, um, how their API looks, uh, as you can see, they have like a pop-up system similar to Shopify payments. Uh, well, we don't want to create an account right now. I think they have it under their features here. Okay, so I found the right page here. It's their checkout experience options. Now, for you guys, you definitely just want to go with the standard because it doesn't cost any extra money, whereas the inline uh, costs more money. And all the, the only difference here is it looks like it's more part of your site, whereas if you go with just the standard model, 
uh, it's it's going to be perfectly fine. And we're going to go through here. This is a test product that they have set up for you. Um, so you can see what it'll look like on your store. So let's say, for example, we sold a product here. Uh, they're using $14.79 as the price. So say we add this to our cart, right? And then we go to the checkout. This is what your customers will then pop, pop up on with to checkout. So as you can see here, you know, you have the product and it has the price. So this is the payment gateway off of your Shopify store that it will then take you take your customers to. Um, and it looks pretty secure. It looks perfectly fine. You know, they have it verified little test uh, uh, checkout badges here. Uh, so it's definitely pretty simple. Uh, you know, it's a it's a checkout page. It's not really too complicated. You know, you have your cart, your shipping information. Uh, this is all just test info, as you can see here. Oh, select shipping method. You know, everything is going to be available in here um, for your store. So obviously, your products will pop up there. Uh, this is basically what your checkout page would then look like. So besides a few of the features that Two Checkout offers, I did want to go more in depth on some of the details that you need to know with starting on Two Checkout. So for some of the things that you need to know about Two Checkout is that there is a fifteen dollar per weekly wire transfer. So with Shopify payments, they don't actually charge for a wire transfer. It just automatically goes to your bank with to checkout. They do charge a $15 fee for those weekly wire transfers, but you just have to look at it as part of the business cost for starting your stores. It's really not a huge amount in the grand scheme of things. And, and this rate may vary as well. Uh, depending on your store, they're going to review your store as well, which is something I'm gonna get into here in a second and why it is very important that you make your stores look a certain way, okay? And what do I mean by that, right? Um, so when you're signing up for two checkout, when you're going to be creating your store and all that, they're gonna review your store and see what type of store you are and affect and that adjusts your rates directly because they actually don't really like drop shipping stores. OK, so if you're starting a Shopify drop shipping store, you need to make it not look super typical. This also means that you cannot have any tra trademarked products on your store. So when I say no trademarked products, that means if you're trying to sell Star Wars stuff in that niche, you can't do it. You can't sell any little yoga, uh, Yoda, almost said yoga, Yoda minifigures. You can't sell any kind of Star Wars -y type stuff or stormtroopers. None of that. Nothing with like Nike logo. None of the none of the fake stuff that's on AliExpress. You can't resell any of that on your stores. I hope you guys weren't trying to do that anyway, because I wouldn't recommend doing that. Uh, for starting your stores, I would recommend a niche that doesn't have any trademark problems so you can actually create your own branding around it a little bit better. Uh, so, you know, you can't do any of that. And like I said before, you can't really make it like a traditional dropshipping y type store because that's not what they want to see. They don't want to do business with people that are like that. Now, as long as you make your stores look legitimate, that's fine. They will definitely take you. You'll be perfectly fine and you shouldn't have any issues. They also won't ch charge you extra um, fees or higher rates. As long as you make your stores look professional, look really solid, as long as you're not selling any like free items, stuff like that, that's that's typically where they're like, okay, we're not stupid. We see that you're just trying to drop ship and they're going to charge you or not accept you at all. So you need to make sure your stores look professional. Don't have any free items. Make sure things look like a like a normal professional store would look like uh, like some of the other stores I've showed on this this uh, channel for examples because you know, if you model it after them you should be you shouldn't have any issues but some of these some some of you guys beginners with these some of these stores they look too dropshippy and I, I see these on ads all the time when I'm surfing through Instagram and stuff like that just avoid that at all costs because otherwise you might not even get accepted for two checkout and you really be in a in a pickle there okay in some problems so then another thing to notice is that they do charge a $25 fee for chargebacks so chargebacks you shouldn't get at, almost at all I know with my store I only had like two two or three not very many um, so chargebacks suck you want to avoid them at all costs that's why i definitely recommend you give really really good customer service respond to every single email you get on your store because chargebacks you want to avoid like the plague because not only does it also cost you a fee but then they're like "Ooh, this store's having chargebacks because shopify payments doesn't like that either they you know shopify doesn't like that either that you're getting chargebacks they don't want to do business with you so make sure that you try to minimize the amount of chargebacks you have, minimize the amount of refunds that you're having, you know, just give really good customer support and you should be able to mitigate a lot of those problems and, and extra fees. A lot of the extra fees come with unprofessionalism, 
just not being a great business partner for them. Because at the end of the day, this is a business transaction for them, and they look at you like a client. You know, if you're a good client, they're going to treat you well. But if you're not doing doing too good for them, they're not going to treat you as well. They're going to charge you more. So try to be the best that you can when you are signing up for your shop and getting involved with two checkout or really Shopify payments as well. This applies to both because it's the same kind of situation with a uh, payment processor. So guys, if you have not actually started your Shopify stores yet, I do have a 14 day free trial link down in the description box below. If you want to support the channel, you go ahead and click that link down in the description. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, what the heck are you doing? Hit that dang subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well as you get notified for future videos, uploads and all that good stuff. Leave a like, leave a comment down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns. But anyway, guys, that's all for today's video. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.